Welcome everyone to Comcast Newsmakers. Thanks for being here. You know, nine years ago, Multnomah County began issuing licenses for same-sex couples who want to get married. Well, later that year, the courts declared those licenses invalid. Please welcome Gina Frazzini, Executive Director, Basic Rights Oregon Education Fund. Thank you so much for being with us. You bet. Thanks. You for know, me. I think a lot of this stems from nomenclature. A lot of people don't understand the difference between same-sex marriage and domestic partnerships. Can you sure. can you break those down for us? Sure. Well, you know, Oregon does uh, recognize domestic partnership for mm -hmm. same-sex couples, and a lot of states have tried to create this separate system that would uh, extend rights and responsibilities to couples. And the problem with that is that what folks are doing when they're making a lifetime commitment to one another is they're, they're looking to marry that special someone. And for same-sex couples and opposite-sex couples, there's really no difference in what marriage means to people. It's about love and commitment and taking care of one another in good times and bad. Maybe it's about dignity and maybe it's about respect that sure. that's not being given. I think that's true uh, in a lot of ways, and I think that you know our state and our country has been on a journey of understanding this idea uh, that same-sex couples you know choose to make that lifetime commitment like anyone else. That it's really not about the legal rights and benefits, which are important and cr a critical part of marriage. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is about that, but it's also about um, asking your friends and family to support you, having uh, the opportunity to be supported by your community in making that um, in making that commitment to one another and ultimately I think it comes down to treating others as you would want to be treated and that's uh, what our work is about here in Oregon as we build a uh, campaign Oregon United for Marriage that will ultimately uh, bring the freedom to marry to the ballot in November of 2014. How does a domestic partnership differ? Sure. Well, in Oregon, um, the domestic partnership law extends uh, many of the rights and responsibilities to same-sex couples that are uh, provided to opposite-sex couples through marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, not all of them, and none of the federal uh, the federal benefits um, f or responsibilities flow uh, to domestic partnership. And uh, I think ultimately what ends up happening is folks don't understand the terminology. So even if you have the right to be at your partner's bedside as their domestic partner, um, we've had instances right here in our own state and certainly across this country where uh, folks are turned away from the bedside at a critical moment because the staff doesn't understand this idea of domestic partner in the way that they do when someone says, I am his wife. Those terms are widely understood uh, by the community. And, and that comes down to both um, being able to access the rights that flow through uh, relationship recognition, um, but ultimately the respect and dignity that comes from being married and having the commitment that you've made to mm -hmm. your partner uh, fully recognized in that way. We've seen a lot of states make the, the commitment to same-sex marriage, or as yeah. you like to call it, to marriage. That's right. <laughs> uh, to marriage. Um, and really, when I, when I look at the statistics of 54% of people in Oregon would uh, vote yes for uh -huh. this. But when you look at those who are younger, of the younger generation, younger than 45, it's a much larger, 68 to 30 percent. Don't you think we're all yeah. moving in the right direction right now? Absolutely. I think, you know, there's a generational change that's happening, um, but that uh, folks who uh, aren't necessarily at the younger end of the spectrum are also coming to understand uh, marriage in a, in a different way um, and to understand that, again, like any couple, um, same-sex couples seek uh, what we all do, which is to make a lifetime commitment to love one another, to have that support, to say to your family and friends, you know, we're making this commitment in good times and bad, and we want you here with us along that journey. Um, to support the, the promise we're making to one another and to our family. All right, it'll be on the ballot in 2014, hopefully for you. Jennifer right. Zini, thank you very much for joining us. You bet. Thank you for being here as well on Comcast Newsmakers. Make it a great day.